What's up guys? Learning with Rich here in this video. So let's talk about sizing pipe in Revit 2025-4 piping design. Okay, so in this exercise, we're going to uh, verify automatically calculated pipe size and flow parameters. So initially, we are going to use a pipe color scheme uh, legend, which can be found here on the annotate tab color fill you can see the pipe legend there so we're going to use this pipe color scheme legend as a color coded reference to view the flow within the pipes and the sizing so the color coded display allows you to quickly see different sizes and flow of piping okay and then we're going to use a combination of friction and velocity to size the pipes automatically okay so but first let's place our pipe legend so I'm going to click that one and then I'm going to zoom into this area here so here's my piping here so I'm going to place the legend here so let's click that and then for the color scheme I'm going to select here pipe color fill flow okay so let's click this one okay and then after that I'm going to select here OK. So this option displays the pipes in colors based on flow value. So if you already have piping in your design, you can add a color uh, fill legend. So you can use this procedure using your uh, actual project. Or if you want to support me in doing videos like this one, you can avail the exact exercise file that I'm using right now. So you can go check out the video description. I have put there a link so you can avail the exercise files that I'm doing. All right. So here, you can check this legend here to compare to the color coding in the drawing to verify that the flow value are as expected. Okay. So now the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to edit your color fill legend. Okay. So for you to be able to do that, you just need to select your legend. And then after that, you can see edit scheme here. So just click edit scheme. Okay, so here on the edit color scheme dialog for our uh, schemes here. So just make sure this is pipes. Anyway, there's no other option at the moment, only pipes. So we are going to select here pipe color fill size so let's click that one and then you will see the changes here on the table so let's click the size and there you go okay so for this display it will help you to size the pipe using friction and velocity sizing method okay so i'm going to select here okay there you go okay so the next thing is we are now going to size the pipe using the friction and velocity uh, method. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to zoom in here, hover my pointer like that. Do not click, just move your pointer over the pipe. Okay, and then after that, we are going to press tab three times so that the status on our uh, here, this is our status bar. So if we press our tab three times over this pipe so what will happen is it will indicates that you highlighted a branch in a pipe network up to a piece of e equipment okay so look at my status bar while i'm tabbing three times so hover my pointer over the pipe and then i'm going to press tab once so now, now it says branch in a pipe network. So I'm going to press tab again. So now it says branch in a pipe network including the branch objects. So I'm going to press tab the third time. So now it says uh, branch in a pipe network up to a piece of equipment. Okay, and then after that, I'm going to select. So it's now highlighted. Okay, and then I'm going to go to the analysis and then select duct pipe sizing okay so when you do that the the pipe sizing dialog displays the sizing settings that were last used 
Okay, so it does not report the sizing settings of the selected pipe seg segment or uh, pipe run. Okay, so now for the sizing method, so I'm going to select here uh, velocity. So the velocity is, let's say I'll just use uh, 2.25 feet per 100 feet. And since I want that to be combined with the velocity, so I'm not going to select only, but I'm going to select end so that it will activate my velocity. So the sizing method is friction and velocity. Okay, so for the velocity, I'm just going to type uh, 5. Okay, so now for the branch sizing, I'm going to select here uh, larger op connector and calculated. Okay, so after that, I'm going to select OK and then look what will happen on our sizing. So let's select OK. There you go. So it's now sized. Just click outside. So the piping increases in diameter based on the friction and velocity value specified. Okay, so there are some instances wherein error occur while you are attempting to create the pipe geometry. This is the result of converting a layout or during sizing. So the most common cause of these errors, if ever there's an error that will pop up on your, uh, on your machine, is that there is insufficient space to create the pipe or offset elevations are incorrect. So either relocate the system components, select a different layout solution, or manually modify the pipe. So remember to always check pipe connectivity after modification. Okay? So like just hover your pointer and then just press tab, 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 tab again the four time. And as you can see, it will highlight all the elements that is connected when you click it. Okay, so they are all connected right now. Alright, so basically that's how you size your pipe. Now, the next thing that we're going to do after we size the piping, so let us inspect the system. Okay, so we are going to use System Inspector to inspect the Level 3 Hydronic Piping System, which is this area here. Okay. So the system inspector lets you inspect each piping system for flow, pressure, and pressure loss by placing the cursor over a pipe or mechanical equipment that you assign to the system. So using the system inspector, you can easily detect the problem areas in your design and resolve them immediately. Okay, so just remember to use properly the system inspector the selected system components and pipes must be logically and physically connected. So make sure they are all connected and has a logical system. Like for example, this magenta color pipe here. So the system of this is a return. And then this uh, blue one or violet. So this is a supply system. So if you are not sure, you just need to click the pipe. And then look for the properties, mechanical category, and then you can see there the system classification. So it tells us that that is the hydronic return. And then the system type is chilled water return. So if I click the other one, so that's a hydronic supply system. And then that is a chilled water supply uh, system type. So it has a logical uh, system. And make sure they are all connected. So... If you want to check out, again, you just need to hover your pointer to one of the pipe. Do not click. Hover. And then you press tab. Tab again. You see it highlights the branch in a pipe network, including the branch objects. So if I tab again, it will now highlight the network up to a piece of equipment. So you tab again, it will highlight all the elements that is connected to that system so once you click you will be able to select the elements so as you can see they are all selected properly so it's all colored red when i select it so meaning these pipes are connected properly up to the equipment okay so again for you to be able to do that just hover your pointer press tab 
tab, tab, tab again. So it will highlight all the elements and then click to select. So any elements that will not be highlighted, for example, this one is not highlighted after we select. So meaning this is not properly connected. Okay, or let's say for example, when we select it, this pipe here is not highlighted. So meaning this pipe is not properly connected. So you need to manually connect that to that T-fitting and that elbow. Okay, so now let's start the system inspector. So to do that, I'm going to select this pipe here, this return pipe between my... Uh, water source heat pumps select that and then after that look for analysis and then you can see system inspector so let's click that system inspector and then let's select here inspect let's click that one there you go and then if you place the cursor over the same section of pipe that we selected it will tell you now the information so you can see the flow on that pipe the static pressure, and then the pressure loss. And if you're going to zoom in, so you'll be able to see an arrow there. So there's, you see there's an arrow on that pipe. Same with this pipe here, you see there's an arrow. Okay. So these arrows displays on the pipe indicating the flow direction for both the main and the branches in a pipe system. You see there's an arrow there. There's an arrow there. Okay? So the critical flow, which is the red here. You see there's an arrow there. And then you see the information is red. While this one, the, ins the information here is blue. So if it is a red one, so that means so that's a critical flow. Okay? It's in the main line going to the boiler. Okay? Right? You see that? So that's the critical flow, that red line going to the boiler. Okay, so that's how you inspect your system. So just over a pointer like that. So that's a critical flow. This is a color blue. So you can also see here the excess pressure, total pressure, pressure loss, static pressure, and then the flow. Okay, so these are all important when you are doing your pipe sizing, okay, using the system inspector. Okay, so that's it for this simple exercise. So hopefully you learned something from this video. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.